Governor Newsom announcing more money for the homeless. $2.75 billion will go to the state's Home Key initiative. That Home Key program buys and rehabs buildings, turning them into long term housing units for the homeless. State leaders say that they have provided shelter to thousands of Californians during the pandemic just within the program's first year. In our Project Home Report this evening, a renegade movement underway to build emergency housing in San Jose. Our Kit Doe met up with activists who are building homes on public property, and it's all unauthorized. So you are looking at the next evolution of activism for the homeless in the South Bay. It is part emergency shelter, part criticism of our government. This is not a, a tiny home, uh, first of all. Here we are. Measuring just 8 feet by 12 feet, they are tiny and they are homes, but don't call them tiny homes. I love it. Jesse is with the activist group Feed the Block. She and a handful of volunteers are at an undisclosed location building three so-called weather their shelters. Basically, they're sheds with no electricity, plumbing, or poured concrete foundation. We have this chicken wire, and that's to help with rats. The insulation is already up on top, and then we'll be putting shingles on the top of the roof. Each one will have two windows and a door with a deadbolt. And by calling them weather shelters, the group says they're not bound by the same codes and regulations of an actual tiny home. We're really out here doing this because of the city's failures to provide housing for people. In early 2020, after years of back and forth, the city finally built its first 40 tiny homes near the Berryessa BART station in North San Jose. The city says it has since built five locations in all, temporarily housing more than 400 people. The city has its own tiny home project, but they haven't built even close to enough tiny homes uh, to be able to accommodate people. So this is really a stopgap measure, right? This is definitely not an ideal situation for anybody. The crew spent the day waterproofing the shelters. It'll take another two weeks to install roof shingles, flooring, and then paint them. The shelters have about $3,500 each in materials, which came from private donations through social media. You've got three now. How many more can we expect? Uh, we can expect as many as we can get funding for and get away with. <laughs> If slash when the city comes out and tries to take them down, we will try and protect these shelters. Our message to the city of San Jose is if you don't want this here, if you want to take this down, then do better. Then provide actual housing for people, and then measures like this won't have to be taken anymore. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5. San Jose's housing department says all structures used for human habitation in the city must comply with building codes and fire safety regulations. We'll keep following this story.